welcome to Camille's Country Corner. I am Camille and on today's episode we will be making a pumpkin roll. Very delicious and I will be using my Nestle's cookbook recipe. This is a much loved cookbook and I will link that below where you can pick that up. I only got it for less than ten dollars so it's really a good buy. So many good recipes. All right let's get started. I'll show you what you need for this recipe. If you haven't yet hit subscribe, definitely hit that like. All right, let's get baking today. For this recipe, you'll need some flour, some sugar, some pumpkin. We've got some vanilla, cream cheese, powdered sugar, that those are for the filling. We've got some eggs, baking soda, baking powder. We've got cloves and cinnamon. Let me show you how to put this together. But I did want to show you, this is super cute. I got an advent calendar and it is full of these cute little jams and jellies and honeys, specialty honeys for every day of the month of December. And so I've been opening those and enjoying those with either waffle, toast, biscuit, you name it. It's just really fun. I got it from my sister and it's, um, let me see, Bonnie Ma uh, Mammon. I could be pronouncing that completely wrong. And uh, I will try to find the link and put that below. But it is a really fun advent calendar. We love them. Let's get started with this recipe. So to my bowl, I have three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. You can use whatever flour you'd like here too. Um, I'm gonna use a half of a teaspoon of baking soda half of a teaspoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half of a teaspoon of ground cloves. and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> We're just gonna mix that around. Set that aside. To my bowl, I have one cup of granulated sugar and I am going to be adding two thirds of a cup of pumpkin puree. So this is just 100% pure pumpkin, not your pumpkin pie filling because that already has sugar in it and we want to be able to control the sugar in our recipe. So we need two thirds of a cup of your pumpkin. You can save the rest for another recipe. <clears throat> or you can double this and make two of these because they freeze beautifully and it's just a really nice recipe around the holidays to have. You can use this for like a breakfast or whatever you like. All right, now we're going to add three eggs. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got my windows open today. It is an exceptionally warm day. It's like 72 in December. <laughs> and the allergies are getting me a little bit. All right, let's throw that aside. Let's just make sure I've got everything I do. So let's go ahead and mix this up. <laughs> now we're just gonna put our dry mixture in with our wet. And I'm just gonna use my scraper just to make sure everything is well combined. This actually comes together so fast. Okay, so I have a jelly roll pan or any, uh, any of your cookie sheets will do for this. This is a 
15 by 10 jelly roll pan. I've lined this with uh, parchment paper and I've sprayed it on both sides. That way it sticks to my pan, but it, it will also release my cake. We wanna do this because we're gonna roll this in jelly roll fashion. And I will show you how to do that. All right, so we just wanna spread this out in our pan so we have a nice even layer. All right, just gonna bang it a couple of times. I have my oven preheated at 375. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in for 13 to 15 minutes, and then I will show you the next step. Now, while we are waiting for our cake to get done, I am going to show you how to make the filling that we're going to be putting inside. So I have one package of eight ounce cream cheese. You can use any kind of cream cheese you'd like. I have a store brand here. That is what I buy, <clears throat> unless the good stuff is on sale, but it all tastes the same to me. So I don't really have a preference. I say good stuff, but I mean brand name. All right. To my eight ounces of cream cheese, I am going to be adding six tablespoons of butter. I am using salted butter here, so I won't have to add any extra salt. That is just my preference. And it's not real easy to find a lot of items. One yes, no. tablespoon of my vanilla. I went ahead and combined that and then you put in one cup of powdered sugar. It does say to sift that here. I don't have my sifter out, so we're just gonna go ahead and add it in, because I'm not putting it through a piping bag, so I'm not worried about it getting stuck. <laughs> okay, we have just taken the cake out of the oven, so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to roll it up. So, let me pull it off of this cookie sheet. I have a tea towel here and I am going to put powder sugar all over my cake so it doesn't stick to my tea towel. Also, I am going to put powdered sugar on my tea towel. If you don't have one of these little things, just um, get a sifter and put it all over the top of your tea towel. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this uh, jelly style. Let me see. Yeah. I want to roll it this way. So what we want to do is we want to take, let me pull it this way. It's very hot because it just came out of the oven and this is when you're supposed to do it. <clears throat> So we want to take off the paper as we're doing this. It might break on you, that's okay. It's still gonna work. Okay. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna let this cool.
Okay, well now let's finish our cake, our cake roll or <clears throat> pumpkin roll. I'm gonna go ahead and unroll this now. It has been completely cooled. Let's get rid of this. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and evenly spread our cream cheese icing on here. <clears throat> Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll it right back up. I've got a decorative plate here for it. Dust the top with the powdered sugar. We're going to hide the seam underneath. Now you can decorate this and put some mint leaves around it and make it real decorative for your table. Let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? Let's give this a try, shall we? Look at how beautiful the roll came out. It is delicious. Cream cheese icing, I think is hands down my favorite. Besides like a whip topping, I like a whip topping frosting, like the, um, like fresh whipped cream. All of these nice warm pumpkin pie spices in here, the, the cinnamon, the cloves, of course, not everything a pumpkin pie has, but this is a delicious cake that you can make, pumpkin roll, and you can serve this with coffee, tea, have it for breakfast, bring it to your next potluck, bring it to your next holiday party. All right, guys, I sure hope you make this, and I'm so glad you stopped by here today and baked with me. Let me know if you make this and how yours turned out. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, friends.